plate set that I made. I already used two to, to make start my um, start my glands material, but this is the first bucket I did. You can see right there, and it's all done with this caustic. By the way, since I see this on the background, this is the caustic that I use, right? And basically, I put two zinc plates here, and I had two copper plates there, and I had two copper plates here. I used a copper plate here. And I used that copper plate there for my gans, which I started as well today. And then this is the second batch of copper. I, this time I used the exact same tub plastic container that I will use for the gans, which gives me the full size plates. You see these plates go all the way just a centimeter or two of the bottom. So then when I hang them in, these are not, these are just some extra plates I had left, but these these middle ones, are, and, uh, and the back one here, they're actually plates, but especially these middle ones, these two here, are copper plates that are hanging in the way that when I make my GANs, they're actually perfectly sized for this type of tub. And you can see here, these um, plates. You can see at the bottom, I put a silver coin in there. You can see some, some corrosion here that's looking cool, like the universe. But um, I'm not, maybe not right, but who cares? This is how things go in this universe. Never the same, never the perfect. But at the bottom, you see the silver coin that I put in there. You know, I don't know, but silver is a good conductor. and It doesn't actually corrode. That's why it's silver, you know, silver and gold. You can put it in this kind of stuff. It barely gets affected, not even by caustic. So basically, we got these plates in this one. And they're coated twice, uh, three times. Submerged once and twice steamed. Same thing for these. Submerged once, steamed twice. But basically I put up two control groups or two tests. I put them um, these buckets. I, I standardized, I bought like uh, seven of these or something. So I can do seven different buckets. They're really cheap. And what I did is I put the nano coated plate on the right hand side. And I put uh, here a bare copper on the left side, and it's connected with a nano coated wire. So if you take a look at this, you'll see a nano coated plate on this side. It's hanging with these little hooks I made. They're, they're grabbing behind here, that uh, they're hooking so that it's easy to hang them. And then this nano coated wire is connecting to the bare copper plate. I made sure they had a good connection. They're hanging completely free off the wall. Like this. And if you go down, you can see here I put bare copper. And then here I put nano coated copper. Just small, so I can erase it later if I want to use it for something else. And then here you can see them hanging freely off the floor. I actually made some I actually made some larger plates, but the first plates I made was in a different in different plastic box, so they're shorter. The new ones come almost to here. So if I want to make new ones later, I'll, I'll have bigger plates than these plates. Now on this side, I did the same thing, although I did not connect I did not connect a, a copper wire, a nano coated copper wire, nor a normal copper wire, a bare copper wire, but instead I plugged in these banana clip type things and I put the negative on this nano coated copper plate and I put the positive on this zinc plate. This is a bare zinc. So if you look here, you'll see bare zinc. And here we got the nano coated copper. And I connected that to a normal one and a half volt battery. I do not have a, a PSU, a power supply unit, where I can control the voltage and the amperage to try to give that, that what I want. But I put up this one and a half volt battery, which, which has a much lower amperage than I think a 0.5. I think it has way lower than that, but it's something. It's at least something because I can't get these machines here. And so I filled this up, both of these buckets with seawater. Sea this comes straight from the Caribbean Sea. Here is another one with the Caribbean Sea. That's the blood of the earth. Because if you know 
uh, anything about water and distilled water, you'll find out that basically hemoglobin, which is our blood, is iron based. The blood of the earth, Gaia, Mother Earth, is based on salt. And then the plant blood is based on, um, um, what do you call it, uh, the green stuff, right? Uh, photosynthesis. I uh, forgot the name, doesn't matter. But basically there's three types of blood, plant blood, um, animal blood, and the earth blood. So this is the blood of Gaia in here. All right, so it's okay. So it's been a couple of hours, and uh, I'd say it's one o'clock now, so four hours or something. I started with these two Gans Creatures buckets, but I swapped them. This was the one which has the um, bare zinc and the nano co coated copper. So you can see here quite a lot of. Um, bubbles because I connected this one to the battery right so I got this normal D battery or something it is right this one here and I hook this one up with the plus to the zinc over here zinc plate and I connected the minus to the bare copper or the nano coated copper plate over here and that's bubbling away now. It seems the battery is losing some of its power, but you can see the CO2, I think it is, because there's nothing seems to be coming off the plates. You can see it swirling around in here even. I think you can hold it still, maybe you can see it. Uh, let's see if we can get that in there. See those pieces floating? And then, I took the one that I had no load on, I had no power on it, but nothing was happening. So I had the nano coated copper plate here, that's that one, and I had the bare copper plate on this one, and nothing was happening. So what I did is I took uh, a tattoo power supply, which is a 0 to uh, 18 volts variation i don't know anything about the amps uh, what it allows is the amps so but uh, amps is usually what something draws so it's going to draw up to two amps if that's what it can but it's probably drawing less so it seems to be working fine and you can clearly see the copper color here a beautiful green copper color here you can see the connection that i made to my uh the two power supply i marked the uh, positive side and the negative side to avoid uh, putting the clips on the wrong one. And basically, I put this power supply up here. And what I did is I put the fan on. You see now it's 1.4, yeah, 1.5, 1.5 volt. And you can see I put this fan here, like right here, and I can turn that on. That cools the uh, the machine. It was warming up a little bit, so I took that down. So that's 1.5 volts hooked up to these banana clips, and then the banana clips are hooked up to my the black negative is hooked up to the nano coated plate, and the positive is hooked up to the bare copper. And in four hours, well, the GANS is definitely at least the copper. If that's nano coated, if that's nano particles, then it's working.